Welcome to 2020, A Class Dismissed, a video series dedicated to sharing untold stories and experiences from the spread of COVID-19, told directly by the sources themselves, main high school seniors of the class of 2020. From the small town of Wales and graduating from Gray New Gloucester High School, Alyssa Finn is an active student in sports and academics with plans to join the main Army National Guard this summer. So Alyssa, I see you're wearing your Army sweatshirt, and we can yeah. go ahead and, and start with that. Um, what what inspired you to, to go that route? Um, honestly, my best friend had been talking about it for a long time for her going into the Marines, and honestly, it was nothing that I actually ever considered until my junior year, roughly, when I'm like, wow, how am I going to pay for college? Like, I really don't know. It's like absolutely crazy and then my dad actually suggested I talk to one of the recruiters from the army and I was like sure like I'll just like I'll just like see what they have to offer and so I sat down with one of the recruiters that they had and she just like laid everything out for me like point blank was like hey this is what we're about this is what you can do this is what you can get out of it like like it's worth a shot if like you're willing to put the time and effort so so I know um I saw that you plan to pursue uh, a criminal justice program at, at Huston. So within the uh, National Guard, are you hoping to go military police or do you have an idea of what your specialty would be? Yep. So right now I've already signed a contract back in August for the 31 Bravo, which is military police. Yep. Um, so I'm hoping that once I leave for boot camp, then I'll finish military police training, hopefully by November, and then I can return and go back to Huston for criminal justice degree, and then maybe do something afterwards with um, like the FBI, Homeland Security, Secret Service, something like that, just like looking out for the little guy type of thing. Was there anything in particular that you were I mean, even counting down the days too, like aside from graduation, that's the big one, but was there any uh, experience special to senior year that you were really looking forward to? Um, I don't really know. I, I was just taking it one day at a time, honestly. Like I was just really excited to go to school all the time. I've always really loved school. So honestly, the next day at school was honestly like the next big day type thing. Um, I guess mm -hmm. I was forward to prom yeah uh, but i mean i don't know what, what can you do now it's fine <laughs> um what did yeah. you love most about school like uh, about being there in person yeah um i honestly love the challenge of going to school um the main reason why i decided to go to grain and gloucester was an academic challenge and so I was in an IB course that I for biology, and that was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed that course. Um, just, I don't know, I really like the academic challenge. I like socializing with my friends. So that was definitely what I like about school, I guess. <laughs> Alyssa, I'm curious, what has been the hardest thing for you to adapt to in this new uh, format? Mm. Uh, for me, definitely, it's not being able to see and talk to my friends as much. Um, I've always been like a quick learner, I guess, as far as like, you know, just school-wise type thing. So I wasn't really finding that part challenging. But whereas I live in a, district, uh, a different district than all my other friends, like I'm not able to see them or like if I don't work where they like would, I don't know, like come and visit if they wanted to and like, so just not being able to like talk to them as much is definitely a lot more challenging, I guess. What's your personal, uh, I guess, family quarantine or individual quarantine, or not quarantine, but distancing um, policy been? Have you been staying pretty much exclusively at home and inside? Are you able to get out at all? Yeah, no, we've been trying to stay at home as much as possible. I mean, I know I have to go to work, but everybody else has definitely been trying to stay home as much as possible, only going out for the essentials like groceries and stuff. What um, do you do for work? Uh, I work at Subway. Uh, so, yeah, so I just, uh, we've definitely had a decrease in business, but, like, it's still, like, enough where they, like, have us working a one-person shift type of thing um, and just, you know, making sure the store is clean type of type of thing right now.
how have you felt about it? Like, has it, has it, um, I guess, frustrating to you to still have to go? Is it concerning to you because of constant exposure? I, I don't really stress too much about that stuff right now, um, just because I'm just so fortunate to be able to have my job still. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm just really fortunate to have my job. <laughs> What about, I know you referenced in your email that uh, you are involved with student council. Mm -hmm. yep. Has that been something um, that's almost become even more important now that you guys are operating in a very strained sense of community, if you will? Like, have you been doing more as a student council body to help out your school and class? Yeah, definitely. So actually, just like a, I don't know, like a week or two ago, I want to say, um, my student council actually got to like not got together type of thing, but like we all texted as a group or whatever, and our advisor suggested that we do a spirit week. Um, so we had a virtual spirit week in which every day everybody that wanted to participate could send in a picture of them, like you know, doing whatever the day it was, and then um, at the, uh, I think it was. Thursday, it was like essential workers day or something, and so everybody like got a picture of them saying thank you to essential workers, and then they all compiled it into a video, and I think they released it out to the public already, so there's a video out there of us you know, thanking essential workers and everything like that. Um, and I know, I know they also got together and there was a video for, um, from the staff to the students, you know, just saying, hey, like, you got it, like, you believe in me, you can do it, and I know, like, um, at least uh, the council officers we got together and they were like, hey, we're going to do the same thing, juniors and seniors, we're going to take a video of you guys and we'll send one back to them, uh, back to the staff, and then freshmen and sophomores are going to do one like, in like a couple weeks. So, nice. Yeah. In, in this time that you've had, since you do have the benefit of something of a standard schedule and a synchronized schedule, <laughs> In that time, then that you're not working and you, and you are at home, what else have you been doing to to fill up your time apart from prepping for boot camp and whatnot? Yeah, definitely. Um, so right now I've done a lot of reading because I'm definitely a big book nerd. <laughs> I actually just recently um, bought three books online from Amazon for um, the Star Wars Force Awakens, The Last Jedi, and The Rise of Skywalker because. Nice. Literally just started getting into that, like as the whole thing came around. Um, so I bought that, and I'm starting to read that. And then I've been watching some Netflix stuff. I watched like uh, Supergirl and like uh, Ferris Bueller's Day Off and everything. And been playing cards with my family and just chilling with my dogs. <laughs> I think there's a lot of happy dogs across the country that are like, oh, people all the time. <laughs> If you had to give a shout out to anyone or any group of people uh, in regards to this whole experience, who would you want to give a shout out to? Uh, well, first of all, I definitely want to give a shout out to like, my dad and the other administrators because I know how hard they've been working to like actually get this like all together and everything. Uh, I'd also like to give like a shout out to like I know the project grad parents because I know that they've been working like really hard on coming up with a whole new plan because obviously like you know everything's just been like growing through really obviously. Uh, I guess like obviously all my peers and everything like that too like i know like this is hard for them because i'm going through it too like with them so like i hope that they're doing good and then i'd also like to give a shout out to my mom and sister for you know obviously putting it with like my dad and i and <laughs> all that other stuff so 